morning, everybody. Um, I hope you're all right today. I am um, just done a skincare live Q&A on Facebook if you want to check in on that. And I did today really good economy priced cleansers and essences and um, vitamin C's and moisturizers. So do look at that on Facebook. Today is all about Match to me and Trini London because many of you um, are um, people who have bought our products and quite a few of you do match to me. Probably about 58% of women who buy Trini London do match to me, do it successfully, go on, find the woman they look like and they're in and then they get their selection of products um, that suit them. And the point of match to me, and it works incredibly well now if you've wanted to buy Trini London products in the past and you kind of thought, I'll wait till a shop comes. And I don't know when we're ever going to get in the next few months to a shop. So can you do it? Can we hold your hand doing it? In the next few days, we're also going to have some makeup artists who you can do appointments with. That's going to go live in the next few days. We're going to do it live first on the Trini Tribe. So if you're not a member of the Trini Tribe, join it so you have the opportunity to do that. Half an hour appointments with eight of our fantastic makeup artists where you can then just have a lesson or you can just say, please, I never knew how to do a smoky eye or how do I know where to put my blusher? All these kind of things. And you can have somebody, oh shit, and take a half hour doing it. Maybe I should get the stand today. I do bring them upstairs with me. Hold on. Um, I'm going to get... What am I going to get? I had a stand. Yeah, I've got a stand here. Oh, shit. And my chair's fallen down. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to take you through the idea of it. How are you all doing today? How are you feeling? How is life for you? I've got my little... This is my room, by the way, where I do everything. I've got a very big bin full of things. Because I've been doing today... You know what I've been doing today? just because you're on and I love you guys. I'm going to show you some new product development. This is where it all starts. So we want to do for Christmas split pots, okay, that are just different color combinations of things that everyone loves and uses. So here's the beginning of my split pot. See if you can recognize any of those products of my split pot concept. Um, let me just put this in here. Oh, it's got its little case now. It won't fall down again. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. You are tightly screwed in and you're not going anywhere. So, I'm going to get my glasses on. Just say good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Did you enjoy the workout this morning? I hope you did um, because it was uh, really good. We did, we did tummies. Can I just show you where my stomach's getting to? I know this is about match to me. But I was a bit bloated today. But this, I'm getting some tone. You know, and I was having that thing coming round. And I'm now getting some tone. Ow! That was too much. But I just wanted to just say it's working. And this idea of having less sugar and doing all this stuff, is re I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. So, okay. And also, by the way, if you want to come in with me on a live, we can do that. Um... This is, yes, I love a bit of peach. Now, when I, I'm just going to show you something here because when I do match to me, so I go on to the site and I go to here and it says match to me there. Put in my name, blah, blah, blah. And I look through and I think, okay, my eyes, what color are they? They're blue. So I click on blue. If your eyes are blue green or green blue, you can just, you can do it. You can um, just work out, okay, which dominates. Um, I look at my hair, very simple there. There's gray, there's blonde, there's red, there's auburn, there's brown. So I know I'm bronze, which is the sort of mixture between um, blonde and brunette. And then I look at this and I can be a tawny blonde, blonde which is a bit more warmth than it. Probably am that right now, am I? No, I think I'm more a bronze, bronze, a true bronze. So I go true bronzing, and then I look at skin tone. A skin tone here goes from porcelain to dark brown. So I look at that and I think, where am I in that um, in that lineup? I'm probably halfway through. So I'm going to go to light medium, okay? And in light medium, there's lots of different women and you can watch a film and they'll talk about their, how they burn in the sun, which is really helpful. 
Um, you can look at the hair color, but this is really a place where I want you only to look at the skin color. Um, we've tried to have a blonde and a brunette, so it makes it easier for you. But I look and obviously I can see myself, so I know that's me. But rosy olive is somebody who just has a general evenness of skin tone and maybe a bit more pinky here. I know that when I go in the sun, I slightly, you know, I can burn only if I'm using a strong retinol. Otherwise, my skin could last about 20 minutes in a warm sun before it burnt. All right. Um, so then I go on and it says hello. Hello, BDHD, that's what I call myself. It will show a picture of somebody generally similar to you. So I'm gonna show you here, these are the products, which is my initial stack. So if I lay out those products, just so you can get a sense, um, light, medium, BFF, we all know that, and that's the skin tone of mine. Freddie Lip to Cheek, which I have on now, and Maddie, I have on on top, but Lila, I can put on on top. So when I look at those colors that it's recommending to me, um, it's recommending really lovely neutral shades. I'm just trying to find them here. This is one of my split pots. So that's Freddy there on that side. And Freddy is just, if I look at my skin tone, that's a lovely kind of neutral color and it suits my skin tone. And then if I look at Lila, which is there to go as a kind of lip glow on top, dropping one of my new ones, there's Lila, which looks bright in real life. But if I put that on, it's actually really lovely with my skin tone. Sometimes um, we talk about m cool, mid and warm, which can be confusing for people. So when you're doing the process of Match to Me, it's really just taking out all the difficulties. Um, so here you see those colors working well. Then I look again and I'm looking at what other things. A neutral eye is fortune. So I'm just going to get fortune out and show you fortune. Got so much on the table. I'm just putting that down there. And fortune is going to be in one of my little ones that I've made up. Hold on. There's a little fortune. So there's fortune there. Can you see fortune? So there's fortune. I'm just going to put that on. But you can just see how well all those colours go together. And then what have I got last up? And a smoky eye. It's suggesting I could do queen. There we go, which is a lovely smoky eye. I've got something quite similar on today, like that. So those colors work beautifully with my skin tone. Um, Match to me also can take you on to see people that you look like. So once you know, oh, that's my skin, hair and eye, you can go to the lookbook and we've changed the lookbook. So let me just show you the lookbook now because I think it's fab. Um, you know when you um, were looking at skin tone on the Match to Me and it had lightest, light, light, medium, medium, dark and darkest. You can go on here and you can see those skin tones again. So if you want that kind of, if you want that reinforcement thing, I, I looked in, so for me, lightest, I know I'm none of those women. Okay, they're way too pale for me and now light. This used to all be one group of women, so now it's broken up, this is light. I thought, I am darker than those women. And then I go light medium, and I think, yeah, I think I could be those women. So it reinforces what you think you might be, and then you can look at some of them, and you can look at the makeup looks they have. So that's sort of what Match to Me does, is it helps to, A, work out your color palette. I've taken that off now your color palette, and B, if you do the lookbook, it actually helps you to think, okay, what colors suit me if I wear them together? So, you know, my fusion today is quite a sort of slightly smoky eye with that fortune, with a little bit of the um, Freddy on my cheek and on my lip, and then over it, I don't have Lila, I have Maddie, but let me just put a little bit of Lila on if I can find her, because it will work really well with what I'm wearing on top like that and I'll put it on my cheek too to make my cheek a little bit blushier blushier short and sweet that one today um how is everybody um it's not an app it's a match me on Trinity London website exactly I look at it always on my phone because uh there's so much on the Trinity London website can I just show you other things on it because I think some of you don't see what there can be. So 
I get to my Trini London because I downloaded the logo so it looks like an app but you could do that too because then it'll remind you and every day we put things up on the blog um, and if I go here that's the navigation bar and I can do makeup I can look at stacks match to me lookbook accessories gifts or tea time blog so stacks is interesting let's say you want to actually go straight in and get a stack if you've done match to me then you can look at all the different stack combos. So a fresh face stack is just, if you think, oh, I'm scared to do foundation and um, skin color matching, so I'll just do color. So it will give you the three best colors. Um, so I've got to do my match to me. Sorry, I did match to me, but because I've actually got a, I've got my screen in private, so it won't show up. So I'm gonna do bronze and I'm gonna do bronze and I'm going to do light medium, and I'm going to do rosy olive. Thank you, I've done that now. So I've done my, it will prompt you to do it. So I, when I look at the stacks again, I'm back at stacks. Okay, sorry, I'm back at stacks. And then I press the little fresh face stack like that. And it will actually, I can then choose from the colors I suit to do the fresh face. So I can think lip to cheek, what would I like to do? I'd like to do a Phoebe lip, to, Rossi lip to cheek and then I might do a lip glow in Lila, and then I might do an eye to eye. Sorry, that's out of stock. Um, what's out of stock? Lovers is out of stock. Um, there, so I've done my stack. Really simple, really simple. The other thing I want to show you on the navigation bar is the Tea Time blog. On the Tea Time blog, every single film that I've ever made is on that blog. That's why it's taken so long to download. <laughs> And when you're navigating the Tea Time blog, so you can find things as well. Hang on. Hang on, this is so ticky. I must tell them that that little thing is too close for my fat hands. Um, there, Tea Time blog. All right, so most recent will be the first one up. That's Lila and I, and we did a little... Um, we got ready together and we do a little. Lila uses all of her Glossier products and I use um, Trini London. Then you've got categories, and the categories in the blog are um, daily lives, which is any daily live I do, a Fashion Friday, something we used to do with the team, which I loved, um, the hair. So a lot of you ask about my hair films. So you can click on hair, and then when you click on it, they come up at the bottom. So the Dyson Air Wrap, I've got a film on that. Josh Wood Live, of Josh doing my blow, I mean, getting my blow dryer done how my roots are touched up with Shannon, um, how I deal with frizzy hair, that's when I do my kind of look at home look, um, how I do my curls is there. So all of those hair videos are um, there. So you've got a ton of information. Then we can go here to, um, two time blog, we can go to skincare, which is a huge one on here, skincare there. And within skincare, there are a lot of different things. There's treatments, all the different treatments I've had done, including Botox and lasers, and it's live. You can watch it all happening and see if you want to do that. Nighttime routine, Secret Sevens is where I do a lot of my research on my favorite seven products that you can um, use. And I've done hyaluronic acids, beauty tools, vitamin Cs, essences, spot specials, retinols, exfoliating acid toners, body hydrators, holiday skincare, that won't be for a while, facial oils, SPF products, exfoliating cleansers, on it goes. Anyway, a ton of um, information is there and it's just very, also, I'll tell you what else I love in here because Sometimes we want to see other people other than me doing makeup, at least I do, because otherwise it becomes really tedious. So um, if I go back to all categories here and I go to makeup, I'll do my bottom makeup there, go to makeup. And there are a ton of things and they're all done by looks. So there's bright lip looks, there's fresh face looks, there's how eyes, which all the people that we have on the feed and how I, they do different looks, how to's, and smoky eye look. So if you look here, there's a lot of how they do the smoky eye. Um, and you can just watch those films um, of how to do the thing. So tons, and I mean, like there are probably 500, 600 films on there. So definitely some entertainment for you. This Sunday, I've got Ray Morris as my special guest for our Sunday night special. And she is going to be showing us all how to do a smoky eye. 
So I'm very excited because she's one of the foremost makeup artists and I do love her so much. Um, Chris, you're in bed with me. Ha <laughs> ha. Good morning. Good morning. You prefer eye to eye with a brush. It's a very personal choice. I mean, I sometimes find that I want to use the tea kit for different things. And if I'm doing, you know, an eyeliner or an eye, on an eye to eye. So let me just take here. What have I got there? Let me get some desire. So let's say I want to do a line. Can I just muck up my beautiful new pot that I've done? Oh my God, I'm so anal. Let me do a line with something quite dark. I'll do some line with some faith. You gotta have faith. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, and faith is also very good, by the way, if you're filling in your brows. I'm just gonna show you a brow moment. But um, with the tea kit, we've got this angled brush, so you can either be creating a little bit of liner like that. There. Or you can use a bit of faith, which I do, just to fill in a bit of brow, and I just do it upwards like that. It's a very good colour. Wisdom's good if you're dark, if you're lighter brows, like more blonde. But these formulas work very well as an eyeliner. And then also as a bit of an eyebrow. In a flash, tea kit, magnetic. Fingers are kept clean. And then when you're smudging in, because let me smudge for you, so I use the smudging brush, which is at the end here. And it might be I want to smudge in that line like that. I'll just do a little smudging like that. Very simple. Always. I think we want to spend, to me, makeup can be quite ritualistic. I can kind of love just, you know, sit like just now, actually, I took a while to put my makeup on. <laughs> I don't know if it looked like it did. But this morning when I did my um, live on skincare, I did my makeup really quickly and I came back here and I was in a meeting and I have this little setup in there like, I'll just show you like, like this, okay, there. And I just thought, let me sit here in front of the mirror, exactly what I did. I thought, let me sit here in front of the mirror and let me just have that moment of thinking, okay, let me really take the time. And I sort of sat here and I thought, all right, I want to do a different kind of eye. I've got some different um, eye products and I want to do these combinations. So I was testing all these combinations. And sometimes I do like using my finger because I feel, you know, these amazing makeup artists like Kevin O'Conn, Mary Greenall, they, they all, Pat McGrath, they all do things with fingers because you have this relationship with your skin. And if you go in with your finger, you might think it's mucky, but at home we have a sink very close but you can really blend so beautifully when you use your finger. So unless I'm doing a sort of eyeliner, I much prefer to use my finger. And then if I'm doing something like contour, here, whilst we're here. By the way, can I tell you my little trick I'm doing at the moment? Is I'm taking Kate, which is our contour, with Swala, like that. So I take a little dab of that and a little dab of Kate, put them down. Then I run them together in my fingers. And then I just go and I feel, you know, whenever you're doing contour, you want it to look as natural as possible. You don't want it to be like a sort of, you know, a track mark, going, a, a, a sort of railway line going up and down. So let me just, first of all, um, tone down what I've done before. So I'm just gonna just, so you can see it properly. I'm just going to get all a new product that you can't know about yet. There we go. Let's turn that down. So I get that little bit that's on there, and I just start right here. You know, right at my cheekbone. Feel where your cheekbone comes out to your face and before it goes over, you know, just before it goes over. And then when it stops, which is here, that's where your contour should stop. People who bring their contour down here, it's like, that's not what nature intended. And then you can just blend it with a clean finger up like that. So you've got that sort of contour. It's not too hard. If you feel it's gone too low, you can just, you know, take product and put it on again underneath so you could do that with um i'm just going to do that with trinitron i quite like doing that too to make sure that i've you know not carried it down too low 
and it's that just line so it's going gives you that um so that is my thing that i've been doing a little bit is taking slightly more effort and just trying some makeup tips and tricks and you know i was trying today different eye colors together um and i just like doing that you know just like it was a moment to play i'm usually so busy here i just love this moment of playfulness um go on go on go on go on go on you know you want to trim it <laughs> oh are people um suggesting do I do microblading still on my eyebrows? I don't. You know, I did microblading. Let's just have a chat, shall we? I did microblading. Um, sorry, I won't go back on the questions, but do repeat them again. Um, about four years ago with Suman, who was um, quite near me on the Fulham Road. And she put probably about, I just wanted to test it because so many people had asked me about microblading and I wanted to know what it was like instead of just talking about it and not wanting to understand it better i always like to understand something properly so she probably did about six hairs eight hairs here and then she did about six hairs here at the top i generally have quite good brows but i find that the paleness of them was showing quickly so i'd have them tinted by my lovely lovely um nisha and then it would fade quite quickly because i'm using all these exfoliating acids so then it just made it easier but my lovely Edie, who does my eyelashes, said, Trini, your eyebrows are turning a little bit green, purple, can't remember. And that sort of put me off doing it again. So I didn't, even though I'm quite tall and only Edie, when I'm lying flat, can notice that. I just was aware of it. And when I looked down, I never really noticed it, but she had noticed it. Um, so Cheryl, who's in our customer service, also goes to Suman, and Cheryl's eyebrows are fantastic, and Cheryl is, is blonde, and she feels that need of people who are blonde, which I totally understand and appreciate, to have definition up here because all the other hair is quite pale. And it looks, they look fantastic on her, and she loves them, and she doesn't have many brows, and it's it saved her. So I think for um, people, it can be a revelation but there are botched jobs around. So when we get out of Corona, and if you're thinking, would I consider having it done? I would really find a friend who's had it done well and go and see that friend's recommendation. Um, because you need to see somebody's work. You need to know that when they're thinking of the dye that they put on, they choose the right shade and you don't have people who cut. Because the way microblading works is they take dye and they're sort of cutting with a razor very thinly your just above your brow in your hairline of your brow and then they put dye inside so that gives the color that's sort of how it works in a very loose term so if somebody does it badly they cut too much and then you have um you know some people have scarred and things like that i mean if you get somebody good that's not going to happen but just get somebody good um big happy birthday to wigs can i just say it was so lovely that you all left these messages to my sister yesterday because she was feeling a bit, you know, when you have a big birthday and you're not getting to see all your friends, even though her husband arranged a sort of Zoom and stuff, you know, you can feel a bit emotional and that is totally understandable. And it was very odd because when I was choosing the pictures that I would put on for Wiggle, um, it made me go down memory lane and, and if quite a few people in those pictures are no longer with us. And you know, that's what happens when you live a few years is is people begin to pass away and so my sister you know texted me last night she said she, I, it made her feel quite emotional and i looked at them again last night and i thought you know there's a bit of a list there but um and i also the main picture of us both was actually at my father's um memorial and it was you know an opportunity to celebrate his life as opposed to from his funeral um but obviously watching, you know, we, we kind of do have a time at the moment where we're reflecting a little bit. I am a bit. And it brought up feelings. I felt a bit, you know, and it did bring up feelings. And also not being able to see my sister on her birthday. Um, you know, but Zoom works well. We had two, we had a sort of lunchtime one where her husband had got like, you know, 20 people from around the world, really. Um, to celebrate and lift a glass of champagne. And then in the evening, we had my, my family. Um, uh, anyway, um, do I have my teeth whitened? I have veneers. And I had 
um, very bad teeth for many years. Um, my teeth history. I haven't discussed my tooth history with you. I had very damn bad teeth for many years and I could fit like um, two, literally two 50p coins because I had such a gap here. And I was very self-conscious about it. And I went to the orthodontist for years and years and I had a plate and they turned it every night and I never turned it. So it took six years to get through those bloody plates. Well, I should have done braces like my daughter, but I didn't. And um, they were very yellow too, because I'd spent many years not brushing my teeth when I was an early teenager. And so I went, when I, I think had done my fourth book and I thought teeth I know are expensive. And I went and I decided to have veneers. And when, because a lot of people, I have big lips, but a lot of people go, oh, did your lips get bigger? But what makes lips bigger is my bridge. So all, all, these, all these interesting things now are coming out, aren't they? The, um, let me just show you. So I've got quite a narrow face and my teeth yeah, are much, have been built out much wider than they actually are. Because my dentist said to me, Trini, I can, you know, really support your mouth if I build them out and you'll have a better smile. Because when I smiled, my teeth sort of stopped and then there was this big gap. So she said, why don't I just build them out? So she put veneers on. Well, some of them are bonding. Some of these are bonding. Bonding is less expensive than veneers. And then these ones are veneers. And I had it done. And then I really felt like David from Friends because when you get your teeth, whitened or when you get veneers put on or bonding they should never be lighter than the, the than the whites of your eyes because that's when it looks disproportionate and they are you know I had these done probably like 10 years ago so I do sometimes feel I'm David from Friends in that scene where he goes and it, he's got the the light which is you know the the um the um whatever, the, the light you, when you turns dark, God, I can't get my words out. Um, and fluorescent light, whatever, you know, not fluorescent. And I sometimes feel it's like, ee! but it's much better than my teeth were before. My teeth were shocking, shocking. Um, anyway, um, yes. Um, your father passed away to a couple of sweaters and I wear them feels like a hug. We couldn't celebrate with a friend, Booth Cockaboo, for his birthday on Sunday, so we surprised him with the love. Love actually recreation of the signs outside the door. Oh my god, that's so sweet, Booth Cockapoo. Carol Geldof, hi Trini, I keep struggling with match to me, please send help. Um, Carol, I'll tell you what, from it was gonna be from today, but I think we're still doing the tech on it, but from before the weekend, you can go on to Trini London and for free you can book an appointment um, to have a virtual appointment and somebody can take you through it. And I can't wait to offer that to you because I know there's some women who struggle. So as soon as it's up and running, there'll be six or eight makeup artists. I will shout it from the rooftops, Carol, and you'll hear. And you can book in and you can get it all sorted, okay? Um, but thank you very much. Um, just, uh, yeah, a hug with friends is important, isn't it? Um, I love your yellow suit for me and um, and the long, of getting it yeah you know what I also um, always thinking because I there are certain companies that are finding it really hard right now and I want to be supportive to those companies um, and me and M I love as a brand and I was really happy to wear that suit I adore that suit even though the yellow was not totally my yellow I made it my yellow I was determined to but I'm, I'm glad you all loved it because um, I think the more we can do to support brands you know we find it difficult too. I mean, all brands, you know, from one day to the next to have this change. And we want to have a business when we get through this. Um, I have 75 people that Trinity London employs and I'm very conscious that I want, I really hope they can all continue to have a job at Trinity London. And there's many people in that position and there's probably a, people watching who have a smaller business or a bigger business and it is very, very stressful right now. Um, I think the thing I find, you know, the thing I find hardest is I would go in, I was saying this to, um, I think I was saying to Nisha this morning when I was doing my live on Facebook, but I would go into my office every morning and, you know, everyone would be there. I'd always come in later because I would do some filming at home. And I just felt the energy of the office and all these girls and guys who work there, who give it their all, they all work so bloody hard for the business. And 
they're great people. They're fun, they're dynamic, they are passionate, enthusiastic. And I feed off that, you know, I feed off that lovely energy and also all of them very much younger than me, which gives me that sense of that joie de vivre and, and brings my energy to them as well. So I think the hardest thing I find to recreate is sitting in this room and feeling that sense of the energy. So um, we are doing Sanjay on Friday night at six o'clock. We're going to do a um, meditation and I think it, I had said to Sanjay, let's do it on mood and, and feeling positive in our mood. But I might also think about energy. Probably it's not good for a Friday one. Maybe Friday, the one I'm gonna to stick to what it is, which is just lifting your, lifting your mood and just feeling a positiveness. And then perhaps early next week, I might do one with Sanjay, which is on energy, because I want to have that energy to get me through a day. And some of us, some of you who might be watching, are getting through a day which is a long day, and you're thinking of how to fill it. And others of you might be like me, you know, trying to be involved in a business from home and the struggles you might encounter with that. And I think for either of them, others of you might be, I want to do some resolutions and I haven't got the energy to do it. I haven't got the energy to stop drinking. I haven't got the energy to stop sugar. I haven't got the energy to get up at 8 a.m. and join Trini for some exercise. You know, it's like, let's get that energy because we need it. We really need it to get through this. I can't emphasize that enough. And it's fine that we can be vegetables in front of the television. But um, if you do too much vegetable in front of the television, um, you're going to you're going to get into a bit of a bit of a rut. I can just tell you that right now. Um, so if you've done that for a few days, I want you to dust yourself off, honey. Take off the sweatpants, wash your face, exfoliate yourself, find some colour, put it on, and think. Okay, what's the one thing I want to do today? What's the one thing? So if that's your woman and you're sitting there and you've got your cup of tea and you think. Oh. What is that one thing today you're gonna to do? Are you going to look online for something you might learn? It might be interesting. I really, you know what I really want to learn? I do university challenges with Charles every night. We do two or three, we're on, uh, we just watched 2014. It's something that when I was younger, I'd look at people and think how old and funny daddy to watch that show and I don't know any of the answers. But when I get like five or six answers a show, I feel amazing and you know, some of them I'm lying there and I, Charles is like so fucking smart. But you know, and I will shout out every single one I think I know and half the ones will be wrong. But when I get things right and he'll go, well done, when it's something like really left a field. And I expect him to know all the literature, all the art because he re he's so well read and, um, and he obviously knows his art. But I just like it, it challenges me. But then I, when we do, sorry, this is so tedious, but this is like where I'm at. My only time I relax in the whole day because I work till 7.30 at night. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm obsessed with understanding the early kings of England because I do not know them. And, and just they ask a lot of questions about the prime ministers between 1800 and 1900. And I'm not brilliant on that either. I know it was, you know, from school, it was Gladstone to Israeli, Gladstone to Israeli, Gladstone. And I know that Salisbury was in there. And I know that Melbourne, the Queen Victoria loved. So I can kind of place some. But then there's those 1820s, 30s. Who was around then? Repeal of the Corn Act. You know, just vague history things. I have not 55 years, probably. No, 30 years. So anyway, I want to learn. I want to know all the kings and queens of England. Little thing. But it's something where I already know... 50% of it, so I want to fill in the other 50%. I can't be starting something from scratch. I can't suddenly be thinking, I'll, I'll learn Russian. It's not gonna happen. Um, I tried to do that with Italian when I had an Italian boyfriend for a short while and the boyfriend lasted less than the uh, Italian. Well, actually I gave up the Italian obviously afterwards quite quickly. I would have liked to have learned Italian though. Um, so challenging myself, that's gonna be my little challenge. What's your little challenge? Do you want to write up now? What is your little challenge going to be? Are any of you on that sofa now? Are you thinking of things you could be doing? It could be sorting out your knicker drawer. It could be hanging up three outfits in colour. Just colours. You notice every day I wear colour. I challenge you. My challenge for you today, ladies, is to wear colour on your top and bottom half. That's the challenge. Um, so I just want to say that. I think I'm done now. The audio is very dim. Also beautiful. Is the audio very dim? If I got it. Oh my God, because you know why? Because I didn't have it turned up. Oh, 
that's so irritating for you all. My God, that's so irritating. Um, there's um, Fahar. I was watching the Tummy Workout with Natalie Swan. You can see it again. You can see it again because we'll upload it onto Trini London on the site. The days are so long for me. What's Stephanie, Arian, Nora? Darling, the days are so long for you. So what can you do to break your days up into chunks that are interesting? So what's the this morning project? And also try not to go grazing on your projects because we can graze. I'm very good at that. I'll start something over here and I'll go to another path of and start doing that. And then, oh, nothing's going to be finished. And then I'm like, hmm. So it might be you live in a very small flat and you've got, haven't got many clothes or many possessions to sort or do things with. Then you've got to look externally. You've got to go on your computer. You've got to think, okay, what would I love to research that I would like to know better? You know, when I go, okay, this is a little thing, tiny, but you know, when you go out for supper, where do you feel least educated? In what subject? And whatever that subject might be, maybe do one little step towards changing that. So I feel that probably on literature, I know a bit current authors, I haven't been reading that much. So that's something I'm gonna look into a little bit too. Um, there are many things we could be doing, but we want to get the, the sense of purpose to do them. So listen to Sanjay on Friday, the lady who was just feeling flat. I want to help us bring up your mood. Um, and have, I'm somebody saying here a times table, you know, doing your times table. I mean, this like sounds tedious. And, you know, if we don't have the motivation, we won't to do anything. So I'm going to really get Sanjay also to do the motivation to learn something new as a specific meditation next week. Would you like that for those of you who are thinking I'm not motivated? Should we just have the motivation meditation? And then when I love that, um, what's it called when two words are the same? Um, motivation meditation. Um, if anyone's watched that from Trinity London, could you remember that motivation meditation? I think even the sound of it I'm loving. So we're going to do that for sure. Um, setting up a winter vegetable garden, wonderful. Um, because I have time in the morning, I have really enjoyed getting dressed and fixing up, sitting at my desk and trying out products. I think that's great. Um, you know, just share also with the group now what you're doing. If you're doing something that you feel is stimulating, you share it with the group for those ladies who may be feeling, mm, you know, I just don't quite know what to do with myself today. But it is about the spirit. Um, and for me, um, I will save Natalie's videos. They are on Trini London forward slash the blog forward slash exercise. All her videos there. I've already got eight of them up there. Um, motivation is a real problem for me at the moment. Okay, so we need that motivation. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think of motivation. Oh, I'm a singer. One second, I love this. I'm a singer and all the gigs were cancelled. All events cancelled. Sing at home now. Can I just say singer B? I've heard that some people are just singing on um, YouTube. So if you think you've got an amazing voice and you think you should be heard, send us, you know, start a little YouTube and sing with your guitar, with your instrument, by yourself to your little YouTube channel and put some songs up, you know, put some songs up, tell us your name on YouTube and we'll go and listen. So can we all commit to that? If that lady leaves a link now and if you're watching this, can you just commit that you're going to go and give her a view? So um, that's your challenge, darling. Go and, and sing a song on YouTube and get your audience. Go and get your audience. What's stopping you? One person tells one person who tells one person. That's, you know, even though I had people who um, maybe knew me from telly, when I was on telly, I had so few Instagram followers. And then because of you guys following, one person tells one person and says, you know, you should go and follow. And then you grow an audience. Starts from zero, it builds up. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. If you have something to say, or if you have a song to sing, or if you have a way to entertain, get on there and do it. You know, nothing's stopping you. Gary Vinicek, if you're a guy, he's brilliant for guys. I don't know about for girls, but he's Gary V, Gary V Daily Motivational Show, very motivational, and he has lots of things he's done online, lots of things he's invested in. But he's really like, get off your couch, get off the sofa. What are you gonna do? What do you want to do when this is all over? Who do you wanna be? Ask yourself those questions now, you know? Ask yourself those questions now. All right, ladies, I'm gonna go, because I can smell, I, I need lunch. I didn't have breakfast, and my stomach is just 
really like churning over. I'm wearing a very old Celine um, top, which is this sort of soft salmon. And then I have on my lips today a mixture I really love because in my little stacky pots, I'm doing it and I have on Freddie with Maddie. Freddie lip to cheek with Maddie lip glow. Love it. And I have it also on my cheeks and I have the Maddie on top of the Freddie. Really easy and really nice. Another combination that I might do is Phoebe and Cordy. Phoebe lip to cheek with Cordy lip glow. I'm so excited about this. This is such a nice project. Um, be available at Christmas. In the meantime, buy them singularly. Have fun. Make an effort. Feel good about yourself. Catch you soon. Bye.